from Gaijin American, in your opinion, what are the limits of copyright and patenting? For example, should biotech corporations have the rights to patent genetic sequences? I have no opinion on this, so you take the wheel. Um, well, okay. in your opinion, what are the limits of copyright patenting? For example, should biotech corporations have the right to patent? I mean, if they don't, they would lose all motivations. Like, what? How? Um, like we do. Okay, so here's the thing. There, there is. This is like a lot of people treat this as a black and white when it comes to copyright and um, patents, right? They, some people think there should be none of this should exist. Basically, removing all motivations from for-profit institutions to be able to come up with, to innovate and come up with new technologies and new ways of saving the rest of the planet. Like, oh yeah, just take out the profit motive and just see what happens. Like, you know, strong cop, like as much as I personally hate copyright laws, right? Because I like free stuff. Um, I, I kind of understand that like 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 United States with strong copyright laws, this also happens to be the country that is like um responsible for the greatest innovations in like the the history of man mankind, right? Um maybe like you know, maybe having strong patent and copyright laws had some influence in it. Maybe like it, it goes back all the way to um recognizing um property rights back from you know in, in from early days in the united kingdom making the united making the british empire what it was like you know because because having strong laws that protects people's ownership over things means that um trade and commerce becomes a lot more effective and it, it, it's responsible for the wealth of that nation or that empire right because you're providing a security and the government's role as a provider of security and safety for people to know that if it, if they create something or if they um contribute something there's a giant force behind it protecting it means that more people will get involved in creating and trading things right because they have a giant army behind them right like that's you, you do you do your trade you do your creation and you have the entire force that is the united states or what it used to be the british empire protecting what you do right so you get this is the this is the recipe for wealth creation right um so you need this you need this you can't like you can't want these giant corporations to just pr produce beneficial stuff for people out of the goodness of their heart that's not what the for-profit corporation is designed to do that's what like a me you know when it so it's it, like it's a company right it's not a person um so but it can they go overboard can it get extreme yes like again this is not black and white right are there examples of copyright going insane um and getting like do you have examples of copyright laws like just instead of um, promoting innovation stifling innovation like yeah there's examples of that that you could do overdo it that people there are patent laws there um, that could be like people are just going out and just patenting everything uh, but without contributing much to actually its creation just like every idea under the sun like if you make it too easy to patent everything and now nobody can actually start doing the innovations because anything imaginable uh, <laughs> has been patented already uh even without you being a scientist or anybody that is country like that is an extreme version of it is like copyright laws could be extreme like people like just um i know we have experienced copyright laws being used against us in, in insane ways right um so yeah it's not like black and white answer like you do need co copyright laws strong copyright laws and patent laws and and a, and a strong government behind to protect it but yeah it could get in but you don't you should be careful not to go extreme with it but again governments are governments they they they, they will go overboard with their laws like that's what they're unfortunately like do but yeah, it's not black and white. There's there's a there's a golden, you know, area in between. Yeah. Anyways, what is that saying? I don't know if I got it. Yeah, but um um everything in moderation? No. No. Anyways, I'll I'll think about it later. But yeah, next question. Yeah. As you were talking, I had some opinions, but I'd rather move on. Basically, okay. Patent vultures are a problem. Yes. It it can massively hurt P 
people, consumers, particularly in the realm of receiving medical care at a price that they can afford. Um, but this is kind of an American healthcare issue. <gasps> and there are many. <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Kali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.